Hi everyone, my name is Wendell Evans and today we will be looking at the binary system. We would like to know how to add or subtract in base 2. If you have any comments, you could leave it below. A thought for the day is be strong, be positive, and you will be successful. Watch on, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. All right, today we're looking at the binary system. Um, it's also called base 2. Um, so let me write it. And we're looking at binary. And it is called base 2. And what this means is, it's called base 2 because the number of digits that we'll be working with will be 2. It will be a 0 and a 1. So all the numbers that we'll see in all the figures that we're going to be writing, it's either going to be a 0 or a 1. So it consists of two digits. And we want to understand that there is a table of values that represent each place value system in the base 2 world. So in the base 2 world, the place value system is, is, is actually raised based on powers of 2. For example, the first place system would have been, place value system would have been 2 to the 0, and then 2 to the 1, then 2 to the 2, and it continues 2 to the 3, and it goes on forever. So, if we look at it, I'm just stopping at these four. 2 to the 0 in indices, this is 1. 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 to the 2 is 4. 2 to the 3 is 8. And if we continue in this fashion based on the pattern that we're looking on, we can simply know the place value system in base 2 because each place doubles the previous. Each place doubles the previous. So we have a 1, a 2, a 4, a 8, a 16, a 32. So it's just in powers of 2. And this comprises the system that we'll be working with. These are just the place value system. Under each of these places, we can only write a 0 and a 1. All right, because we can never write a 2 in base 2. Only two digits, a 0 and a 1. We're going to see how it works. All right, so let us look on adding in base 2. Now, let us say we intend to add 1, 0, 1, 1. This is base 2. We normally put a subscript there. Plus one one zero one one. This is also in base two. Now in the base two, the beauty about using this, right? We're adding. I could come up with some little rules to tell us that one. 1, 1 is 1, 0, 0 plus 1 give 1, and 1 plus 0 give 1. We could write those rules, but my intention is not about just working with rules. My intention here is for you to understand that if you have been working in the base 10 system all along, then the procedure is similar as long as you understand the base you're dealing with. For example, we're dealing with this base 2. We already understand that the numbers that we could write is zeros and 1. Which means as soon as we have two, as soon as we have two of anything, it's going to be one set of two. All right. So for for argument, say let us say we are adding and we have we have this and this come together. We cannot put this under a column, so we are going to put it in one bag, and it's going to be one set of two, and that will go to the column that is two times the singles. And so on, we're going to be representing our ideas. As soon as it reached two or more, we're going to see how many sets of two we could get out of that. Bring that to the next column and leave the remainders in the previous. So what happened is, is the remainders that really we're going to be really focusing on. Let's go. For example, here, one plus one is two. We cannot write two. Right? 
we cannot write 2 because in base 2, the biggest number we can write in is 1. So let's look at it. 1 plus 1 is 2. And now I'm going to say to people, how many sets of 2 can we get out of 2? Well, we could get one set of 2. Just one set of 2. Right? How many remainder? What's the remainder? What's the remainder? When we get that set of 2, what's the remainder? We have zero remainder. One set of 2 and zero remainder. It's the remainder that we put there. And then we're going to carry the set of 2 to a column that is, um, I would say, bigger than this to the left. So it's go, it goes here as one set of 2. It's not going to come here as, as a 1, as, as just a 1. Yes, it's a 1, but it's actually one set of 2. So now let's check this column. 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3. How many sets of 2's we could get out of 3? Well, if you check it, you could get one set of 2 and the remainder, let me write it here, we could get one set of 2 and the remainder of 1. Alright, because 2 into 3, 1 times and the remainder of 1. We'll leave the remainder in the specific column and then we're going to bring that set of 2 to the other side because each um, each place value system, all right, as you progress from left to right, it's two times the other. All right, so now we have a zero plus zero plus one, and that is just one. We are able to write a one in the column, so we write one. Over here now we have a one plus one. One plus one gives us two. How many sets of two we could get out of two? Well, we could get one set of two out of two and no remainder. So we'll write the remainder here and then bring that set to another column. Again, this is a 1 plus 1. That is now 2. How many sets of 2 could get out of that? The procedure is the same. 1 set of 2 and no remainder. Then bring that to the next column. Then this is like a 0 plus 1 is just still 1. All right. So this would have been our answer in base 2. So if we're adding... 1, 0, 1, 1, plus 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is the answer. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 in base 2. All right. Now let's look on how do we subtract. The matter of subtraction is based on, on you understanding how you really add. Remember that each column is actually 2 times the other column. Alright, so let us say we're adding one, we subtract one, zero, zero, one, one, something, one, one, zero, one, alright? If we're subtracting this, this is a base two. Subtraction works the same. Other that we need to understand that when we borrow or when we go to the other column to help ourselves out to get values, you will be bringing back a set of two. So when it comes to the column, it's going to be two times. So it's not going to be a one, it's going to be a two coming from the other column. For example, uh, we'll say, all right, 1 minus 1, that's a 0, that is okay. 1 minus 0, that's a 1. 0 minus 1, we have a problem, so we need to borrow. So if we come to this column, there's nothing there, but we could come all the way here, borrow this 1 set. When this 1 put a 0 there, for it, when this 1 set goes to the column to its right, it's going to be now a set of 2s. Understand? It's now a set of 2 for that column. So it's like you're borrowing the base, like you're going across because it's two times this. So one from this column will be two over this column, but we don't need it here. So we'll borrow this again, leaving one. we we'll go to the next column with that one. And then it's one set of two, not just one, it's one set of two. So now we could say two minus one, one, one minus one, zero. And then we realize that there is nothing to subtract from this. So we could actually rub back off this zero because it's zero in front would have no value. So this would have been the correct response. So again, remember, let me go through this quickly. One minus one, zero. One minus zero, one. Zero minus one, we can't. So we come to borrow. This is one set here. So when we borrow this one set, we have a zero. We're going to take it to the column to the right. But the column to the right is actually half of the column to the left. Or we could say the column to the left is two times the columns to the right. So when I take one from this column and it comes here, 
It's not a one now, it's gonna be two. All right, so we have two here, but we don't need it here. So we borrow back one and then bring it to the next column here. But when it comes, it comes as a set of two. So now we have two minus one, one, one minus one, zero. And then this is actually zero. So there we have it, um, adding and subtracting in base two. Thank you.